All right, if you have your Bibles close at him, turn with me to Galatians chapter number 5. We're continuing our study in the book of Galatians. What an amazing book that it is. Teaching us that uh, true liberty is in uh, the gospel. That we no longer are threatened by the, the judgment of the law. But because Christ took that judgment for us, now we can walk in liberty. Yet we should not let that liberty be something that uh, we take advantage of of what the Lord has done for us. And so let's go ahead and stand together if you're there. Galatians chapter number 5. We're going to be reading from verse number 16 all the way to the end of the chapter. Verse number 16. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affection and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. So let's pray and ask the Lord's blessing on our message this evening. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your graciousness to us that without the Holy Spirit, we would not be saved. And Father, we thank you for uh, his role in our life, and we ask you tonight to give us more understanding, more understanding as to the new nature that we have in Christ. And Father, we ask you to help our hearts to be open for the things that you have for it, and help uh, help me as I speak, as uh, I, I am kind of tired and so i ask you for strength and energy uh, for tonight and help us to know you better and to love you more i do pray all this in jesus name amen you may be seated enthusiasm in god yes all right so there was a interesting book title that uh, i saw the the name of it and i thought immediately that i thought Okay, that is probably not for me, and so I, but I started looking at who wrote the book, and I thought, well, I, I like the person that wrote it, so what is this about? It's called The Forgotten God. Now, I would rephrase it a little differently. Uh, the Forgotten God, the author says, is specifically the Holy Spirit. Well, why does he call him the forgotten God? Now, I would amend that title. I would say the forgotten uh, part of the Godhead, but that's a little wordy. I know, I understand uh, publications. They're, they're kind of funny about that. But yes, the forgotten God of being part of the, the Trinity, the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, a lot of people become very uncomfortable when talking about the Holy Spirit. They feel that, oh, it's just very mystical if you go that realm of okay all these different things that okay maybe the holy spirit speaks to you in certain ways to do certain things oh that's a little too mystical uh for me or it's on the other end of oh okay he's he's a person of the the godhead and and therefore um 
all these things, we, we should just uh, make sure that we do everything in order and in reverence, but hopefully he doesn't ask me to do anything. So <laughs> a lot of people have that, that feeling of, okay, the Holy Spirit might want me to do this, but I really don't want to do that. Boy, it gets me out of my comfort zone. And true enough, that's where growth is. You think about it, where is the growth more? Is there more growth on mountaintop experiences or in the valleys that we have to go through? The answer is, there's always more greenery in the valleys than there is on the mountaintop. So think about this with me. In all intents and purposes, here we see in Galatians the very fact that we need to be walking in the Spirit. And so to understand what that means, we, we have to see in context what, uh, what they're talking about here. Notice with me what it says, verse number 16. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the l- flesh lusteth after the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would if ye be led of the spirit ye are not under the law so here's the interesting thing some people would take this verse and uh they would do do funny things with it so there was a uh, sect back in the first century uh called gnosticism what this sect uh, believed and taught is that okay everything spiritual is good everything physical is evil and i thought well that's an interesting way of looking at it now is everything spiritual good no no because who who, who's a spirit satan himself is a spirit and he's a he can appear as as an angel of light uh but yeah he is no no good no good nor the ones that followed him when he fell uh, when he rebelled against God. So yeah, that is a, uh, a terrible statement of everything that is spiritual is good. Everything that is, uh, well, fleshly, everything that is uh, physical, is it good or, or, or is it evil? Well, the answer is to the degree that uh, like animals and all these different things, they're physical beings, that necessarily isn't evil in themselves. But here in the text, we see it's the flesh versus the spirit. And what it's talking about here, the Apostle Paul is making a contrast between our old nature that we had when we were born versus the new nature that we have in Jesus Christ. So we're going to look at the contrast between the two and then understand what does it mean to walk in the spirit. So we're going to have a little bit of contrast. We'll see the flesh or the old nature. nature. And then we'll see the spirit and the the new nature. So first we'll see the flesh, the old nature. The old nature. First of all, number one, First of all, number on one the screen, on the that, screen we were that we were born with it. This is the old nature. This is the old nature. Now, understand now, this. Understand this, this. Came about, this came about because our great, 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 and so on and so forth, all the way back to Adam, he fell, and because of that, he doomed the entirety of the human race to be sinners just like he was. So Adam and Eve were in the garden. Uh, They were told only one command. Think of that. Only one thing they could not do. Only one. They had all these different kinds of trees in the garden that they can eat from every single kind except for one. And that is what Satan tempted them with. Yea, hath God said? He goes against God's word. He he questions whether or not, did God actually mean this? Did he actually say this? Eve said, well, he said, okay, he commanded us not to eat or to touch of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, uh, lest we die. Well, you shall not surely die. Is that right? You shall, because he knows when you eat thereof, you shall be as gods. 
Isn't that what the human race has been trying to do? Become gods. I am the god of my own destiny. I will follow my own heart. I will choose my own path. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get myself up from my bootstraps. And I'm going I'm to have the strength. I'm going to have the ingenuity to make a, a rather rich fortune. I'm going I'm to be the one. I, me, 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 me. It's all about me. We become our own gods. Such a weird thing to think about. Did we make ourselves? Did we have any say as to when in the world we were going to be born? Like I was born on January 22nd, 1986. You do the math, I'm 38 years old. Did I choose to be born at a time of 1986? I did not choose that. God chose it. Did I choose my parents to give birth to me? No, I did not choose my parents. I did. I especially didn't choose my brother, uh, <laughs> but he, he's great. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble here. Uh, I'm, I'm tired, by the way, so I'm gonna say things that possibly aren't quite right. But um, anyway, I'll put my foot in my mouth. Uh, no, so uh, think about this: you have no control over what nationality you are. You had no control over when you were going to be born. You had no control over the abilities that God has given you. You had no control over what your eye color is. I know there's ways that you could put like a contact lens and change your eye color, but you had no control over what uh, eye color you had, what kind of hair you had, whether it's straight, curly, and so on and so forth. Uh, you had no um, say in whether or not you were going to be male or female. How interesting that today that, today, that uh, we're trying to control that part. Another aspect of we are our own, our own gods. So, un so unfortunately, we see that, we see that of the old nature, that of a sinful nature, of a because, sinful nature, because, nature because Adam, Adam and Eve garden, fell in the back, garden all the way back, back to, uh, way back you know, to uh, 4004 you know, 4, BC. 4, BC. Bishop, Bishop, Usher, is Bishop correct, Usher is correct uh, in his uh, uh, figuring out when it was, was October 23rd, 4004, 4004 BC. BC. That's the first day of creation. So that was like the whatever. But think about it. Back in 4004 BC, Adam and Eve fell, and because of that, all the rest of their children, you including you and me, we are doomed, we are because, doomed we because we have a sinful, a sinful sin, sin cursed nature. nature. We are naturally, we are born, naturally with born with it, and you can by prove it having, by uh, having uh, and seeing the conduct of children. Conduct of children. Left, to themselves, Left to themselves, are they usually, are they usually good? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not no, not at all. They want to do the they things, that you, do the things that you tell them not to do. Not hey, you should not put that, that fork in that electrical socket. Uh, that outlet, uh, that outlet that is not good for that into. fork to go and into. What and what does the child want to do? Oh, I want to see for oh, myself if that is true. Well, that's a bad, well, way, that's of a bad way of living uh, life. Say, no, don't touch that. That's hot. No, don't do that. Don't run outside into the street. That's bad. And of course, when you, make, of course, that when you rule, make that rule, they really, oh, want, they to really it. want to it's do like, it. Ooh, it's like, ooh, something I shouldn't, something do. I shouldn't do. I'm going to try to do that. So naturally, that. So naturally we, see we see in the, in the, realm, of the children, realm of children that they want, that they want what, they what they cannot have. We see that in the supermarket, see that in the supermarket don't we? I want, that I want that candy bar. Mom says no. Mom says no. I really want that candy bar. No. We say no. Really, 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 really want that candy bar. Uh, no. Uh, and then, no. Oh, there and then, oh, the there goes the waterworks and the yelling and, the, the yelling and, 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 and all of this kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, we can see, we can really, see quickly really, quickly really quickly that children, they show that they, they, are, they are a, a sin-cursed uh, nature, uh, nature with them that they were with now. born with. True enough, now. we, we, True do, enough, things we, we do things in order um, to curb um, those, uh, those uh, sinful desires. Uh, sinful desires. Uh, okay, we're going to obey uh, okay, the, we're gonna the authority, the, the authority, authority gonna otherwise I'm going to get a ticket when I speed of my way home. So there's natural things, the way that we curb the old nature, but yet still we are born with it. 
born number with two, it. It's a two, default, it's to, a default do to do wrong. Do so wrong. naturally, so naturally we, want we want to do and we do and we that do which is that wrong, which is just wrong. by default. Just by default. Yeah, we have a default yeah, settings a default on all settings different, on different, all different devices, devices, devices electronically. Like electronically. for instance, like for I'm instance, tempted with I'm my tempted phone because my it doesn't phone because work it doesn't correctly. Work correctly. Uh, in fact, last night, uh, in fact, I, was last in night I was in the middle of what I didn't know where I was and my data didn't work. I thought, I thought, Huh. So maps, so don't, maps have that. don't have Ooh, that. I Ooh, I got a GPS van, on the van, but it's out of date. So I'm hoping that it's good enough for to get me back on track to where I was, track track where I was supposed to be. Lord, and praise the Lord, I was no back problem. on track. No problem. Uh, my but my phone has a problem, has a and, problem. One and one solution that it says on Google to do and try is to push the certain buttons together, and if you do that, it will naturally go back to the default setting. So everything, all the things I, I've done on it will be erased back to exactly what it was like when I first got it. And I'm very tempted to try that tomorrow. Uh, so we have a default setting. It is that of sin. And we want to do that which is wrong. We by default do that which is wrong. Number three, is death is the outcome. The wages of sin is death. Death. And here's the works. And of here's the, flesh. the works of the Notice flesh. With me what it Notice says with me here. what it says here. Verse number nineteen. Now Verse number nineteen. The now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these: which are these. adultery, adultery, fornication, fornication uncleanness, uncleanness, lasciviousness. lasciviousness. Each one of these has each one of these has connections. When a person when says, a person no, says to no to physical, having a physical intimate relationship, the way, relationship God the way God tells them to do so. God created God created that for the fulfillment of a married relationship. If outside you go those outside bonds those bonds, within or the bonds within the bonds in not the correct manner, the manner uh, uh, not to the one, that, you're to the one that you're been uh, married, uh, to, married to, then that becomes, then that becomes a situation. horrible situation. And the wages, and of, the sin wages sin of sin death. is death. Now, look at, notice now, with me, look what, it notice with me says, what it also uh, says. Verse number 20, uh, verse number 20 idolatry, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, emulations wrath, strife, sedition, strife, sedition heresies, heresies, envious murders, murders drunkenness, reveling, and, and such lies. Each one of these, these things each has, one of these a, things has to a connection to that, to that, that for that of pagan worship, that of heresies, that of, heresies, that of, divisions, that of divisions among, among, the, people, that among the people, that of hatred towards that, that, that which is uh, good. We, uh, we, uh, we see idolatry as a major contribution to that, and everything after that is in the connection with that thought. If you think about if you think about it, idolatry is rampant, especially in America today. And everything comes from that of having an idol that says, I am going to worship this instead of God. And it's usually ourselves. If you ask a person what their God is like and they'll describe it, wow, it sounds exactly like you. You make a God in, you your, make a God in your own image. It's kind of fascinating. It's, it's kind of so fascinating. This, uh, so there was uh, this general, uh, uh, general, uh, general, uh, called, Greek Antichus, general called Antiochus Epiphanes. He gave himself that, title. Gave himself that means title. title. It means enlightened uh, one. They had a, uh, they had the, people a he, the people that he uh, ruled, uh, over, ruled over gave him a different title that meant the crazy uh, one. Uh, <laughs> so, but he was so full of himself. And actually, interesting enough, Daniel chapter 11, he's actually mentioned a good hundred and so a couple hundred years before he would ever came about. Interesting, yeah. It's Interesting, yeah. It's amazing how prophecy works its way through. And so, um, so Antiochus Epiphanes, he decided that he wanted to be worshipped as a god. So after he got um, defeated by that of the Roman armada at that point in time, he was so upset that he decided to go to Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, he decided that, okay, these Jews need to give me more respect. So he goes into the temple itself, the one that was established after the return from the exile. And what he did was he then slaughtered a pig on the altar, spread the blood all over the temple, and then set up a statue of Zeus, which interesting enough looked a lot like him. So think about it. So think about we, it. we make, our, make own our own gods out of our own image. But here's what it is. What we, is. What we ought to do is worship, is worship the one true God. By default, By default we, want we want to worship something else that's not 
God. With something else, whether, With something it, be else, sun, whether it be the sun, the, the stars, moon, the, the stars, the constellations, that of, uh, that chance, of uh, luck, chance, evolution, luck, evolution um, <laughs> um, <laughs> anything really, <laughs> anything really that can really, get us that away from, from being accountable, being accountable to, the to the one true God. Death. Is death the outcome. is the outcome. No matter what it no is. No matter what it is. Death is always, death the, is outcome. always now, the outcome. Now, last thing that we're going to see thing that we're is, see submission is submission to this, this to old this, nature, this is, old nature the is, is the choice. The choice. Is, let me say is, it this way. Let me say submission it this way. Submission is, is a choice, a that, choice could be made. that could be made. Each and every one of us that put our faith in Jesus Christ, we could live in the flesh. We could live in the flesh easily. Very easily. Very easily. We just don't have to uh, work have on to our, our, work our, our Christian our, lives. We don't Christian have to lives. Uh, we don't just read our Bibles. Uh, we don't have to do any, we don't of, have that. To do so any of that. Let so we just let everything slide. slide. What happens what when happens we live more like, the, we world live more we like the world than we like do like Jesus Christ? Like Jesus Christ. And so here he so says here he an interesting says, thing in Galatians. Thing in Galatians. It says in verse 16, says, verse this, 16 then, this I see then I see them. Walk in the spirit walk and shall not fulfill the lust. The lust the of flesh. The flesh. Okay, well, what's the okay, what's well, the what's the, what's like? the, the new nature like? that we have in that we have in God? Well, in God. first of all, well, first of all, it happens it's, when, it we, happens are when we are born again. Born again. With it. We have to be born to be again. Jesus born himself. Again. Jesus says himself. to Nicodemus, says unless, Nicodemus you unless you be born again. Fact, born let me go ahead and see if I have that uh, reference here. Yeah, there we go. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except, except a man be born of water and, and of the Spirit, he cannot, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The kingdom of that which is born that of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So specifically, he says to Nicodemus, who is a learned man, he is a a religious leader. He's in fact a called master a master of, of Israel, a top, a top teacher, teacher, one that has so, one that has much, education so much education that he just, that he the just looks and the so part. Here and so Jesus here Jesus is, is coming to him by, night. Him by we night. We don't really know why. Maybe Nicodemus, Nicodemus didn't, didn't want to be associated with Jesus, but this is the beginning of his ministry, so maybe it was just because he was really busy. But he comes to him at night and he and he says and he says specifically uh, that we know that you're from God, so only that he that comes from God can do what you do. And then Jesus doesn't say, oh, thank you so much, you know, I appreciate that. No, he says, okay, unless you are born again, you will not see and enter into the kingdom of God. <laughs> Nicodemus, a learned man, a teacher of the Jews, how is that possible that a man can go into the womb once again again? be born again? And he says, no, no. And he says, no, no. You misunderstand. You misunderstand. That which is born of the, that flesh, is born is of the flesh is flesh. That of water. That of water. But then of the, spirit, then of the spirit, is spirit is spirit. The moment that we put, the our, faith that we put our faith Christ in Jesus, Jesus Christ as our own personal Savior, we are born we are born. With Reborn, reborn, we are born we are again, born with, a again new with a new nature that He has, that he given, has us. given us. But not only that, but, but, not a, desire that, but to, a desire is to do is to right. Do we have right. a desire, have a desire to, do to do that which is right. That which is Especially right. If we're Especially if we're walking in the spirit, in the spirit if we're doing what we should, then we are wanting and desiring what God has for us rather than what our fleshly desires want us to do. It's a battle one with the, the Bible other says the Bible says specifically as we see that as we see that in verse number 17 for the flesh against the spirit against the spirit against the flesh and these the flesh, are contrary to these are the one to the other one to the other okay so it's kind of like okay, okay so it's kind of like which okay one will, will which one will will be victorious in your life is in your life is the one that you actually feed the most think of that okay okay so if I have a 40-day fast I'm not saying I will. I'm not saying I will. <laughs> but if I do, do you think I'm going to be ready to run a marathon right after that? I'm going to be so weak that I... Okay, so I tried this uh, diet. It was the potato diet. Eat nothing but potatoes for two weeks. I lasted one, which was really good for, for me. Uh, but true enough, the, the person that told me about it said, all right, be careful with this. One thing you should not do is exercise because you're not going to be able to do it. Because what you're doing is you're just getting in a potato so that your body is burning fat, but yet not starving. 
And so I don't recommend, so I don't that, recommend that for anybody here. Very, it was uh, very... Uh, I, couldn't eat, I couldn't eat potatoes for a while uh, after that uh, point. Uh, but think, uh, but think about I it. If I was what eating I'm what I'm supposed to, would I then be able to run a marathon? Well, if I trained, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for that, I would be able to because I would have the ability, I would have the strength to do that if I fed myself correctly. Now, if I eat nothing but pizza, which I've done before, uh, if I eat nothing but pizza, I will not be able to run that marathon. That's for, that for, for sure. But if I eat the, what I'm supposed to, strengthening that body that I have, I'll be able to do, which able to do what I'm trying to do. Here, we see two, Here, natures. We see two natures, the spiritual, the spiritual and, the flesh. and the flesh. New nature, New nature old nature. Old nature. The, one that, the feed one that you feed the most is the one that will, be, the one that will be the stronger of the two. And a lot of times in our Christian walk, walk sometimes, we sometimes we feed more the old nature, the flesh, the flesh more than what we do the spirit. And because, of that, and because of that, we are weak spiritually. But here, the Apostle Paul is telling us, walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you, if you concentrate more on doing this over here, then this will be less and less a reality in you. Your. So we see so the we desire to do right, right will be there. Is the life is the reality when we have this when new we nature have because, we have nature because we have life in Jesus Christ. In Jesus he himself Christ. is everlasting life. Everlasting life. He, has, he has given us everlasting life. He has given us abundant life. life. And because, and because of that, we have the that, ability, we have the to, ability live. to live. Like nobody else. Like nobody else. To live to in such live a way that, such when, a way we that when we pass away from this, pass away this, from this mortal coil, this we'll, have coil have we'll have not much of a not much regret. Of a regret. The only regrets that, the only we'll, regrets have that we'll have that is we that which we did not do for the not Lord. Do for the Lord. The only regrets that we're going to do is, have, is, oh, I, I, is, oh, I spent oh, too much, I, time, I spent too much time living in the flesh. That would be our biggest regret. That would be our biggest regret. If when we're dying, when we're dying, we're knowing that our time is, is, our come, time is, is come. We'll say, "Oh, we'll I, say, have wasted oh I have wasted life my life if we didn't life, walk we in didn't the flesh, walk in the flesh, or if we didn't walk in or the spirit, or if we didn't walk in the spirit, and not fulfill the lust not of the flesh." Fulfill the lust of the flesh. And last but not and least, last but not that, least submission that submission is the choice. Is the choice. I, I put that I, I put the that same on both same sides. On both is, sides. It is a is, choice is a whether choice or not you're going to walk in the spirit or you're going to fulfill, or you're the, fulfill lust the lust of the flesh. flesh. It, is it is your choice. Each and, each and every day. Each and every day. We have so many choices, so many to, choices have, to have, but yet that but should be our number that one, be choice, our number throughout one choice throughout the day. Is I'm going to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of flesh. Now, I'm going to ask the question that ask is the question on your mind right now. Right I'm, now. A mind right I'm a mind reader right now. I'm a mind reader right now. All right, so how to walk in the spirit. All right, I'm glad you asked. All right, so number one. All right, so number one, first of all, these are three specifics about how to walk in the spirit. Mind the things of the spirit. The spirit. How do we walk in How do the we spirit? Walk we in the mind spirit? the things, mind the things of, the spirit. of the spirit. We see this throughout we scripture, see this throughout about, scripture how about how it is that our minds that our be minds attuned to the right things. To the right things. So in Ephesians chapter so number Ephesians four, it says that he put, put, put off concerning the former conversation, conversation the old man, which, man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Mind. And that ye put on and that the new put man, on the which new after God is, which created, after God in is created in and righteousness true, and true, holiness, be renewed, holiness be renewed in the spirit in the of your mind. Of your mind. Ro Romans chapter 12, Romans verse number 1 and 2 says, says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, you, therefore, by the mercies, brethren, of, God, the mercies that you of God, God, that you present your bodies a living holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your your mind. mind that ye may that prove ye what may is prove that good what is and acceptable good and perfect, and acceptable will, and perfect of God. will of God. We see this in we see Psalm this in 119, Psalm 119 verses 14 through 16. Through 16. I have rejoiced in, I have the, way rejoiced of in the ways of thy as much as in, as all, much riches. As in all riches. Think about that. Thinking Think about that. that. Your, that Bible your Bible is greater, is greater than all the wealth, that you, the wealth that you could get. potentially get. This is greater. 
this is great. You put this on the scale with all the wealth that you the wealth that you earn, earn in a lifetime, in a even lifetime, if it's a billion even if it's dollars, billion on one dollars side, on and one side, and the, the word of God on the other, the word of God, of God greater, is a greater value than that of the multi millions and billions of dollars that we can earn. That we can earn. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimony as much as in all riches. I will meditate. I will meditate and I have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not. I will not thy forget word. thy word. And says in 1 Corinthians in chapter 2, chapter that, but the natural that, but man the natural receives not man the things of the Spirit of God, of the for they are God, foolishness for they unto are him, foolishness neither can he know them, he know because, them they because, they because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual, he that is spiritual judges, judges all things, yet all things, he himself is judged of no man, for who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him. But notice this. But we have the mind of Christ. Christ. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. We need to mind. We need to the mind things the things of the spirit. Of the spirit. Now specifically, now specifically it has a lot to say has a lot about to say what we about choose what to think we about, and specifically, about, and specifically whether or not what whether or not what we choose to think about agrees with the word agrees of God. with the word of God. Set your your Set affection your, on, things your affection above, on things above, not things above, below. Not Colossians, things chapter, below. 3 Colossians says. chapter three says. It also says in Colossians, also chapter, says three, in Colossians verse 16, chapter three, verse sixteen. Let the word of let Christ, the word dwell, of Christ in dwell in you richly in all wisdom, in all teaching, wisdom and teaching and admonishing one, one another in psalms, hymns, and, and, and spiritual songs, singing with the singing with grace with the, with in your hearts to in your hearts to the Lord. Specifically, specifically, what should we fill what should we fill our minds with? Is that of the Word of God itself? There's so many different. There's so many different. Dimes says, that the Bible says that if a person, that if a person takes, the word, takes God, the word of God and meditates, and there meditates in, therein, that means think about, that means it, think over about it, it over and over, has and nothing, and to, do with has nothing to do with the Eastern philosophy of meditation, of, of, meditation, of trying not to clear your mind of all things. I, I don't, I'm not really sure. I, I don't, I'm not really sure. Was time, you know, there was a time in my by public high school that we were taught to meditate by a Buddhist monk, and I'm like, this is kind of waste of time. So what I was doing, I was like, all right, Lord. Uh, I'm just gonna pray again. So I was praying, and you know, we had a good time together, me and God. But everybody else was like, oh, yeah, it was, it was really weird and, and all of that. That's not meditation. Meditation is I'm thinking about this over and over and over and over and over again. We do that with a lot of things without even thinking about it. Like whatever it is, like whatever it is that is our hobby that we think about all the time. That's meditation. If you have a favorite football team that you're just thinking about all the different players and all the statistics and, 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 and maybe it's your uh, you know, fantasy you're football team all you're thinking about it all the time and you're, you're really, really excited about it which hey that's kind of fun but, kinda you're, fun, meditate, but you're meditate they're in, in not, day and not night the not, not the thing you should think about it this way think about if it this way put the word if we of put the word of god in our hearts and minds we will have more and more than mind the mind and mind the things and mind the things of the spirit so that's what we ought so to that's do. What mind we ought the things mind of the, things the Spirit. Have the Word of, of, of God in our hearts and minds, minds as we think about it. Now, now, is there a point in time that we're going to stop thinking, thinking about the Word of God and actually do actually things that we ought to do? Things that we ought well, to I'm, do. Sure there well, I'm, I'm sure there you know, is. If you're in you know, a meeting, uh, uh, like your uh, your business, you're doing a meeting, you're doing a meeting, and all, meeting, all of a sudden you start and all of a sudden you start scripture, quoting scripture. Probably not the place. Probably not the place for it. Probably not the place for it. Fascinating to see. Fascinating to see. But yeah, mind the things of the more we do that, the more we do that, the more we walk the Spirit. Secondly, not only that, but be mindful of the presence. Of the, of, the of the presence of the spirit, be mindful of the presence of the of the spirit. One of my favorite one of my verses. Favorite in fact, it was uh, George, Washington was, uh, George Washington Carver's, Carver's, Carver's uh, life, verse uh, life verse is specifically, verse is specifically uh, Proverbs, chapter three, Proverbs chapter three verses five and, verses five and six. Five and Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and thy heart, lean not unto thine own understanding. understanding. In all thy ways, in all thy ways, him, and he shall direct thy paths. That second, that second verse, verse number six. George Washington Carver. Before, before he that worked before every, he worked every single day, every single day. day. And he said, okay, and he the, said, Bible okay says, the Bible says I need to acknowledge, I need to your, acknowledge your presence right here and right, right, here, and right now and you will direct my Lord, ways. You Lord, made you peanut. made the peanut. So show me something, so show else, me I something else I can do with the peanut. And God would show, and God would show exactly him exactly what it was. And he came up with hundreds of different ways to use a peanut. And so many things that are still done today because of his research. Because of his 
because, because, just he because he acknowledged God, God and God, 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 and God directed his Now, path. for us throughout now, the day, us, we, can the day we can the acknowledge the fact that God is with us. With the us. Holy Spirit, if you, the are, Holy Spirit, if you, are, put if you have put your faith in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is inside of you. Just an amazing thing to think about. He is inside of you. He has sealed you onto the day of redemption. He is there no matter what. What? And so often in the and day, so often if, in we the day alone, if we ever feel alone or not, oh, or not, he is there. He is there. Closer than any closer other person, any on, other person the on the Earth. face of the planet Earth. Acknowledge his presence. Acknowledge his presence. And you can start and you can praying. Start and praying. acknowledging him and acknowledging all right, him all right lord where do you want me where to do you want what me to should go? i say what should what i say is, what, what should i be thinking what should i be thinking right about right now as i'm doing the dishes as i'm taking my dog out taking my dog out for a walk what are the things that i should be thinking about or who should i be talking to this day may lead me to the conversation for a person to understand who you are and for them to get and for them to get saved in all thy ways in all thy ways he shall die Direct shall thy direct path. Thy path. Be mindful, be of, mindful the of, the of the presence spirit. of the spirit. Last but not least, number Last three. Last but not least, number three. Submission mindedness, submission mindedness towards the spirit. Towards the spirit. Submission mindedness, submission mindedness toward, the spirit. toward the spirit. Here is a critical, is a critical point, point that we have to make. That we have to make is that if you're trying to acknowledge the presence of God, if you're trying to be mindful of the things of the spirit, of the spirit, and you do not have a do not have a spirit. Spirit, of spirit, then there it will be a disconnect, there, it will be in, a your disconnect in your walk with the Lord. There will be a disconnect. There will be How do disconnect. I mean that? How do I There's mean so that? Many There's so many points in Scripture that point us to the fact that, that we need to be submissive to Him. To him. In uh, Ephesians in, uh, chapter five, Ephesians it says, "Be not five, drunk with wine words and excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things." And the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Here we have the actual, Here we have the actual command, uh, given, by the command, the command given by the Apostle that Paul that we be not drunk with wine, where is, where is, excess, is excess, but be filled, but be filled with, the with the Spirit. Same. Same. Okay. If you, okay, between the two, they are basically similar in that you're letting a substance control you. With that of alcohol, you're letting that substance change you, change you by the way you you speak. It changes you by, it the, changes way you you have, you by the way you have your by attitude, your, uh, by your uh, uh, your emotional, emotional state. state how odd the the, the, the uh, reality is. You give a person a little and alcohol and it changes them drastically. Like they aren't, like they very, aren't talkative very talkative and be, lo, lo and behold, they are very talkative if they are drunk. Uh, lo and behold, uh, this person is very, is very respectable, but when he gets the alcohol, then all of a sudden he becomes a wild person. Enraged and possibly causes fights. Like, don't be controlled, like, don't by, be the controlled by the substance of alcohol, be but yeah, be controlled, by the, by, controlled the by the person of the Holy Spirit. And to show you, and to show you what it looks he like, he gives us that description. Speaking to yourselves, Speaking in yourselves psalms and hymns and, hymns and, hymns and spiritual songs, and singing, spiritual make, songs making singing, melody in your hearts, hearts to the Lord, your heart giving, to the Lord thanks always giving thanks for always for all things. Notice this, verse 21, submitting yourselves one to another. That's how it looks like when a person is Spirit. filled with the Holy Spirit. We're praiseful. We're praiseful. We are thankful. We are, thankful. We are, we are submissive. submissive. Submissive to God. Submissive to God, one. number one. Then submissive to then all the other authorities, to all the other that, authorities, we authorities in that, that we have in our life. So think about it with so me. So think about it with me. We need to be submissive we need to, to, be the submissive to the Holy Spirit. If, we, if, if we're we, trying to if live we're trying the way and walk in the Spirit and, walk and not fulfill the lust of the flesh, and if we say, say Lord, say, Lord you know, through, spirit, you know, through your Spirit, guide and direct, direct me, guide and direct you to guide and direct you to uh, doing something that you're not comfortable with and you say no, that's quenching the Holy Spirit. Quenching the Holy Spirit. Another command for us. Another command in for scripture, us. Not in Scripture, not to do. Now notice with me another now scripture me, here. Another scripture James here. chapter four. James so make chapter four. Therefore, so to make God, yourselves resist therefore to God. Devil, resist the and devil, he will flee from you. Will question. Flee from you. Question. How can we resist? How can the devil? we resist the devil? 
We got to be submissive to God. Got to be submissive to God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to get that first. You have to get to that first second. in order to do and the second. Draw nigh and draw to nigh unto God, God, and He will draw nigh you. Cleanse your hands. Your hands purify your heart. Purify your heart. Be afflicted. Be and mourn and, and weep. Mourn let your and laughter be let turned to mourning. Be turned and your joy to heaven is humble. To heaven your soul in the sight of the Lord. He shall shall lift you. Be submissive. Submissive. Having that submission. Having that submissiveness. Mindedness. The spirit. The spirit. If we do these things, we, we do will these be led, things, by, the be led by the spirit. But so often in but our so lives, so often in our lives, we crave to do we that crave which is to wrong. Do that which is wrong. Trying to fill that trying hole, to fill that, that hole we have, that we have of not God, but of yet not other God, things. but yet other things. And so, if there and is so, if that there sin is of that idolatry, sin in, our of lives, idolatry in our we lives, we need to confess it and forsake it. it. We talked about that this morning about, about this repentance morning about or repentance uh, confession, or, before uh, confession, God. confession before God. And so, and so you know, that is you know, the that key is to the us key to having us to walk in the spirit. We cannot walk in the spirit and not have the fellowship of God. So we need to confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Righteousness. For us, we need to For dedicate, us, ourselves, we need to dedicate to ourselves to walk in the Spirit. I hope this has been an encouragement to all of us. Let's go ahead and Father, pray. And pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day you have given us. We ask you to bless, you each, person to bless each person here. Help us this week, help us this week to be mindful of your to be presence. Mindful of your presence. Help us this week to be mindful of the things of the Spirit, your Word, specifically. Specifically, help us to get into God's Word and help your Word to get into us. Get into us. And Father, we ask you to help us to be submissive to the Spirit. To the Spirit, knowing that His will is best. His will will always agree with what Scripture says. And Father, we ask you to help us to be submissive to you. Strengthen us with strengthen us your with spirit, your spirit, the inner man, and the inner increase man. our strength, increase with your our strength might, with your might, and give us much and wisdom, give us much wisdom and understanding and, and understanding guidance from the spirit. Guidance from the I spirit. do pray all this. I do Jesus pray all this. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.